hey, so you just got your CDL. Congratulations. How much was that? A hundred bucks? It's something close to that. Well, now you got to make up for that, and you also got to pay for your check in school. So where are you going to go? Luckily, I have a list of the top seven places that will hire almost everybody. Enjoy. Hey guys, so I know I promised you a video 10 companies that you can work for when you get out on your own uh, once you first get your CDL, but I wasn't able to find five, or wasn't able to find 10. So um like actual, you know, like good reputations for hiring new people. Um got a question earlier about drug use. Any company you work for, any of these big companies will not accept you if you have a DUI, I'm sure probably not a DUI, um, and I doubt if you've ever failed a drug test, you'll be okay with any of these companies. Smaller company may take you, but because all these companies are, I'm pretty sure most, mostly all these companies are self-insured, they're not going to take that risk. So, I'll start off number one. Of course, everyone knows which number one's coming. Trans Am, out of Olathe, Kansas, and now Rockwall, Texas. Um, Trans Am will hire just about anyone. Um, you can have a felony. Um, they're picky when it comes... The only thing Trans Am's picky about is driving record. They don't... They don't. They want a clean driving record. You can be a felon and have a clean driving record. They'll take you. But if you have, you know, one too many tickets, you're done. They won't accept you. Um, next, everyone's heard of them. We all love them. We all hate them. Swift. Swift has a couple different... Um, Terminals, they have one in Phoenix, Arizona, one in Lewiston, Idaho, one in Memphis, Tennessee, Corsicana, Texas, and Richmond, Virginia. Um, you've heard me make fun of Swift. Swift has the few bad drivers who ruin it for everyone. The one who just has to get to the way station that he just passed, so he drives over the median and gets his truck stuck. And that's Swift for you. But um, overall, I've met a couple really good Swift drivers. Um, next, we got Warner Enterprises. Uh, by the way, these are just the facts I could find. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'm sure, do my disclaimer, do your own research. Um, Warner Enterprises has 7,400 trucks. I know they have, uh, they have terminals basically anywhere you, you can find in a big city. They have one I know in Lakeland, Florida. They have one in Jacksonville, one in Tampa. They have one in Miami. You get where this is going. I think they have one in Ocala so you know I mean they're they're everywhere um, I've heard good things about Warner the only thing I've heard bad about Warner is dispatch but you guys have heard my spiel on uh, dispatch before um, prime prime is out of Springfield Missouri they do tankers they do flatbeds they do reefers they do just drive in you need a hazmat to work for prime um, and if you want to know my feelings on hazmat, it's down there. Just scroll down and click on it. You can find out what I think about hazmat. But um, but Prime is um, Prime's an okay company to work for. What I've heard, I don't, I have no idea. Once again, do your own research. Um, but it's good if you want to get into like something like you're just starting out. Like I just got my CDL and I don't really even want to drive a reefer unit. Prime's the company to go for if you want to go straight to flatbed. And you can do that with them. Alright, the next company on our list is Covenant Transportation. Covenant Transport, however you want to call them. Now, Ann Arbor, Michigan. They have over 400 lo terminal locations. That's incredible. That's right up there with Swift and Warner. Um, but they have 32,750 tractors and trailers. I don't know why, how I found that, but it's a lot. Um, Covenant Transport likes to make ever, remind everyone they are a Christian-based organization for what that's worth. Um, they're they're huge. Um, now I'm pretty sure with Covenant, when you start, you're forced to team. So uh, check on that. Check on that with any of them except like Trans Am, Swift, and Warner. I know you don't have to team with those, but check on the other ones. Um, that's definitely any time you call a company, you want to check if they are, um, if they're going to force you to team or not, because team, for it being forced to team is not a fun thing. All right, next we have, this is number six, Schneider National. 
Now to Green Bay, Wisconsin, Hazmat is required for Schneider National, um, and they have terminals in Atlanta, Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, and Indy. Um, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. Do your own research. Then the great thing to do, by the way, guys, is just go to a truck stop if you get a chance and just talk to truckers. We'll talk to you. I've had someone come up and ask me about Trans Am, so, you know, whatever. All right, and now this one I threw out, threw in there, uh, number seven, CR England. Um, CR England is heavy, heavy, push leases, heavy, 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 heavy. Um, oh, Salt Lake City, Utah, they only have reefers. Um, but, yeah, they push lease very heavily, um. Do your own research. I haven't heard, I haven't heard much in the way of uh, CR England. I don't come across any CR England drivers I talk to. Um, and then our bonus number eight. I put it just through in JB Hunt because people have asked me about JB Hunt. JB Hunt, you have to have three months' experience to drive for them. Um, they do. Um, I think they do flatbeds. Um, I'm not sure. I could not find anything, but I know they do do dry and reefer. So, um, so that's my list. Top seven plus a bonus companies that will hire you straight out of school. Remember questions. Feel free to ask. I've answered questions at three o'clock in the morning before. So just ask whenever. Um, Subscribe, like, comment. Y'all know the drill by now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Got to figure out what I'm going to do. So have a great night. Side note, guys. So we're still working on this tree. Bulbs are going out everywhere. My dad's getting all pissy. He is not. See? Then she defends him. But I just wanted to use this moment to say, remember... Stay positive and keep on trucking.